we're going to show you how to embed a Captivate project into a RoboHelp help topic. First, let me show you the publish options available in this particular project. So File, Publish. There are two options available in Adobe Captivate 6 in the Output Format Options area. SWIFT for those devices that support Flash, HTML5 for those devices that do not. Specifically, I'm talking about the Apple mobile devices such as the iPad. I've already published this lesson, so I'm going to press Close, and I'll exit out of Captivate. And I've got RoboHelp running in the background here, and I've got a topic already open, and I've already added two lessons to the RoboHelp topic. They manifest themselves as white boxes with green borders. They don't look like much, but they are, in fact, interactive e-learning lessons. So I'll show you how I got those two lessons into this topic. I go to the Insert menu. I choose Adobe Captivate Demo, and I have two options up at the top there, Multimedia Name, HTML5 Output. The Multimedia Name is for the Flash content, so I'm going to browse for it and go get it. So I've got it in a folder here called Start Notepad, and there's the Flash file, the Swift. That's good to go. And now the HTML5 Output. I'll browse for that looking for the default start page created when I published this lesson from Captivate, and it's called index.html by default, so I'll open it, and I'm good to go, so I'll press OK, and the lesson is added as a white box with a green border. I'll save my project, and I'm going to preview this topic just to show you what these lessons look like. So check it out. I've got three interactive lessons on the same screen, encouraging my learner to interact. I'll click on the Start button here for this first video, and it's totally interactive. I can even type in the lesson if I want to. I'll close the preview. The next step would be to publish this lesson as web help, which is the most common way to publish help systems today, and multi-screen HTML5, which is up and coming. I want to publish them both at the same time, so I'll choose File, Generate, Batch Generate. Web Help is already selected because it's my primary layout. I'll choose Multi-Screen HTML5, and I'll press Generate. And I'll have to wait a few minutes for the process to complete, so let's check it out. All right, the process is done. I'll press the close button. And I want to take a look at my output from the learner's perspective. So I'm going to right click Web Help and I'll choose View. This is going to open up the help system in my default web browser and my browser of choice is Chrome. There it is. Here's the Learning Center topic, which contains those three Captivate lessons. There they are. And totally interactive. So that's nice. Let me close the browser window. Now let's check out the multi-screen HTML5. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose a specific profile. You can hardly see me choosing it here, but I'm going to choose the iPad. And I'm going to open up my contents. Open up general office information. I'll scroll down to let me pull this up a little bit so you can see. There's the Learning Center. And I'll go ahead and click OK here. And I'll press the Play button. And the lesson plays. Let me scroll down just a little bit so you can see it. This would be the experience for an iPad user. Totally interactive lesson. Awesome.